Hello everyone. Welcome to coordinate geometry lecture number four. This time we'll be talking about parallel and perpendicular lines. So let's get started. First of all, let me draw two lines which are parallel. So that is the first line. Actually, that's not a line. That is the first line that I've drawn. And this is the second line that I've drawn. Why do we call two lines parallel? That is the question. So the distance, the perpendicular distance between them remains the same. Mathematicians say they will never meet. They will meet at infinity. So these two lines are parallel. This is line one. This is line two. If I talk about the gradient, M is the symbol that I'm using. M1 equals to M2. Now let's first use this knowledge and let me create a question for you. So I'll write worked example one. The first question is find equation of a line passing through the point and let me label the point as three comma four and is parallel to 2y plus x plus 5 equals to 0. So there are two things to consider. The first thing, that is, it's a line and it's passing through this point 3 comma 4. The second thing, it is parallel to this particular line, something very simple. Step number one, is that get this equation in the standard form. Yes, we love the standard form and we're going to use it. 2y plus x plus 5 equals to 0. 2y is equals to negative x negative 5. y equals to negative x over 2 negative 5 over 2. Just focus on the coefficient of x. So the coefficient of x is negative half, that is the gradient of this line. Now if two lines are parallel, if these two lines are parallel, they should have the same slope, they should have the same gradient. And it's passing through the point 3 comma 4. So therefore, I have the point 3 comma 4. I'm using the format y minus y1 is equals to mx minus x1 y minus 4 is equals to negative half x minus 3 just stop over here the reason is they were asking for the equation and let me use a box and i found the equation so that is the equation of a line always take the benefit of doubt since the examiner has not asked for any particular format just leave it in this particular format and that's all got all perfect all clear so now let me do another question before that another concept so first of all let me grab a line first of all i have drawn a straight line like this and let me draw a line it's not drawn to scale perpendicular to this something like this so now these two lines are perpendicular. This is line one, this is line two. They are making a 90 degree angle. So L1 is perpendicular. That is the symbol that I use to line two. So let me write over here. This is the symbol that I use for perpendicular. L1 is perpendicular to L2. So what is the concept related to gradient? That is M1 dot m2 should equal to negative 1. The gradients multiply to give you negative 1, a very, very important concept in coordinate geometry. If I make one gradient the subject m1, that is negative 1 over m2. So basically, this is a reciprocal, but it's not just a simple reciprocal, it's a negative reciprocal. So remember this term, negative reciprocal. If two lines are perpendicular, one gradient is the negative reciprocal of the other. Let's create a question. Worked example two. Find equation of 
a line passing through the point and let us label a point let's say minus 1 comma 5 and is perpendicular to 3y is equals to negative 4x plus 7 that is the working that needs to be done we are looking for the equation of a line this is the point through which it's passing it's perpendicular to this line so now you know what is step number one let me just recap it for you so step number one was getting the line in the standard form and once it's in the standard form which is y is equals to mx plus c you get hold of m and then step number two is finding the equation or writing down the equation finding the equation so using the same knowledge over here we have the point we have the equation of a line step number one three y is already that therefore y is negative four over three x plus seven over three the gradient of this line is negative 4 over 3 but remember what is the terminology that I've used over here that is negative reciprocal so therefore uh, you will write gradient of the perpendicular line should be negative reciprocal of negative 4 over 3 you don't have to show all the working just flip it and change the sign if it's negative it becomes positive if it's positive it becomes negative so this comes out to be plus three fourth that is step number one and what is step number two as usual you have to apply any particular format i love this format i'll be using this y minus y1 is equals to mx minus x1 so therefore what is the point negative one five so x1 y1 is negative 1 5 gradient is 3 fourth so first of all take this write it over here so 3 fourth is here and then what do we have we have 5 that is the y coordinate that goes over here so y minus 5 put a bracket equal sign put a bracket x minus something now this is negative 1 there is a negative sign so this becomes x plus 1 again stop over here yes it may seem that you have not completed the whole thing but you have that is the equation of a line so now if i write over here we talked about parallel lines we talked about perpendicular line and if i just increase the screen and i've stopped the share so now you can see me and what have we studied so far so we have studied coordinate geometry and uh, thoroughly we are doing it every single detail. We talked about distances and midpoints and parallel lines and slope and equation of a line. How do we find the equation of a line that is parallel to something? How do we find the equation of a line that is perpendicular to something? So basically, uh, coordinate geometry of your maths in general, it's about understanding a concept and then applying the concept. It's about the reading and comprehension it's about understanding things in detail writing it down and then working it out so see you in the next class